Okay, so um, you guys may have seen, may have not seen my previous video on how to extract surface mount components from uh, circuit boards. Here I have a bag. And that's how useful these things are. You can see they're very tiny. They actually look like little lice. <laughs> but um, I extracted these with the razor blade. <coughs> I'm going to show you how I soldered them on to this PCB board. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my electrical tape ready. I'm going to go ahead and heat my soldering iron up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what you need to do is you need to get some sort of legs. I'm using these. Um, I think you can actually buy a spool of these things from what I've heard. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to stick this in here to where it's barely, barely protruding like that. And then I'm going to fold this back. And then I'm going to take another one and do the same thing to where it's barely coming through. I'm going to fold that back. And then I'm going to take a piece of electrical tape, tape that down to the board real good. All right. Now I'm going to set this in my stand. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Alrighty. And you need to have a fine tip soldering iron. A good fine tip soldering iron works really well for small little solder joints like this. Alright, this should be heated up. Yeah. Alright. So, first I'm going to tighten this down because it's moving. Don't want this to move around on you, it just makes shit difficult. It's wanting to be difficult right now. Alright. So, you're going to first solder these legs onto the board. Just like that, a nice smooth little solder joint. Don't let it be messy. You don't want a messy solder joint for this. Well, you don't want messy solder joints ever. All right, there we go. Two little dabs. <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my LEDs out of here. They stick to your fingers very easily, so it's not very difficult to get them out of the bag. Alright, so. I've got one right there. That's how small they are. What I'm going to do is carefully put that on there. Alrighty. Now. I'm going to try to get it perfectly flat on there. Takes a little time. All right, it's on there. Now what you do is on the opposite side of the solder, apply a little bit of heat. And you'll see the whole joint melt. Once it melts, take the heat off. Give it a little blow if you want. Help cool it down. That's what I like to do. Right, I'm going to take it on this side, on the opposite side of the solder joint. See that joint melt? There we go. The LED is now on there. I should have got this done ahead of time for demonstration purposes. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to attach uh, two leads to this little battery pack right quick. And I'm going to show you 
how well this works. All right, so I'm going to put my positive there and my negative. One second. You will not be disappointed, I promise. All right. Now I'm going to take this off of here. Take the tape off. Fold my leads out. All right, and I have a one kilo ohm resistor on here. It really doesn't need it because, but I'm not sure what these LEDs are capable of. So to avoid shorting them, and there we go. And look at that. I got the polarity right on the first try. And then what I do I just take a pair of scissors. Well, first, what I'm going to do is since my soldering iron is kind of beat up and everything, it doesn't really like to give clean solder joints. So I'm going to clip this little uh, solder sickle off. <laughs> just carefully clip that off, not destroy my joint. These are also very dull too. Sometimes I cut wires with them. I shouldn't be cutting with them. All right. So now I'm going to take my pair of scissors. I'm going to carefully, not quickly, just be very patient with this. Just carefully cut. And there it goes. And I broke it. <laughs> so you got to be really careful. I'm trying to move fast because this video is already long enough. I could probably fix that though. Let's try to fix that. I'll put this in my stand. My motto is, nothing's broke, everything is fixable. <clears throat> what determines whether something's fixable or not is just how much patience you have with what you're working on. All right. I <laughs> uh, did not mean to break it. These boards are very stiff. And they crack very easily this back up again. That's one thing I like about this little gas. I, I like these gas ones, these butane ones, better than um, I do the electric because they heat up so quickly. Alright, so I'm going to do this again. Once it heats up. Alrighty. Remelt that solder joint. Come on, heat up. And it fucking moves on me. Alright. And I must be running out of butane, because, no. alright. Alright, <laughs> let's see if it still works. God, I gotta be so careful with it. And then after I finish these, I cut the positive lead longer than the negative. 
This is just fucked. There's no stability. But, you know, you get the idea. I've already made several of them that I didn't mess up. There's somewhere on my desk. Ah, yeah. So I've already made several of them that I didn't mess up. And uh, let me show you what they look like when they're done. Let me just pull one out of here right quick. There's a finished one that I didn't fuck up. You just got to be very careful cutting the PCB. I'm going to take my battery pack. Negative, negative. And then hook my positive up. Now let me show you how bright they get. I'm going to bypass the resistor right quick. See how bright that gets? And people throw these PCB boards away. They get very bright. This is three AAA batteries. But that's why I like to keep these things. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for the sloppiness. And I don't have any video editing software um, on my fucking tablet. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.